poor people spend time to save money. Rich people spend money to save time. So I have a boxing coach, mm -hmm. I have a chiropractor, I have a masseuse, yeah. I have like doctors that come to my house, my barber comes to my house. Yeah, like these are all like technically little expenses, but collectively they add up. Yeah, to, I think like 20 something grand a month just yeah. to so like come to my house, like take care of me pretty much, mm -hmm. keep me in shape, like things like that. Moral of the story, those those little things, like they don't seem significant while they're while they're like small and extracurricular. But dude, 20K a month, that's 240 grand a year that goes just towards essentially things that fucking upkeep. Keep. Yeah, exactly. Like technical yeah. recovery and fitness thing. Oh, personal trainer on yeah. top of that. You gotta rationalize that. It's gotta make sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that's why I track that amount of hours I work every week. Yeah. Like we're on income driven shit. Uh -huh. And then, you know what I'm saying? I do the math between how much money I make, then I get my hourly rate. And then I start doing math. All right, does it cost more? to go to the place like in time, yeah. like if it's gonna take two hours, okay, I know my hourly rate, okay, that's gonna cost me X amount of money to do that in opportunity costs. But I usually end up, cause the hourly rate is so high, I end up saving money by yeah. paying, I end up saving money, dude, like paying shit, like, like <laughs> they, you know, like I was I was talking to my personal trainer the other day and I was, he, he, he was telling me like, oh, there's some background noise, what's that? I'm like, oh, that's my maids, you know? We got three maids that come over twice a week, clean the whole house, like the yeah. bottom. And I was like, do you have maids? And my, my personal trainer was like, no, I don't have a maid. Like my girl does that. I'm like, literally while we were talking about that, my girl was outside and she was trading stocks. And like my girl also makes art. Here in my they have Art Basel. Yeah. And like, dude, she has an actual like show this year, like in Art Basel where people are going to come and they told her to price her pieces at $60,000 a piece. So like she's out there not having to clean, fucking making, literally investing and in trading futures in the morning and like yeah. out the afternoon and then fucking making art that's like 60 grand. Dude, my maids cost me $300 Come on, twice dude. a week. So it's like, I'm total investor for the month, $2,400 to have essentially twice a week maid service, top to bottom, the whole crib. Yeah. You don't even think about that shit. Nah, especially it's if like, you think about how long it would take you to clean the crib I versus how much money you could have made yeah, like, that I, time. I, I don't know where trash bags are in my house. Like, I don't know where <laughs> fucking shit is, dude. So it's like, <laughs> It's like, I can't tell you the last time. Like, I know you don't use dishes, you know, like you nah, use no, 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 but it's no, like, no. It's like, I use dishes. Nah. I just, my, I don't ever touch them. You know, like I just fucking set them down somewhere. My maids come and pick them up. Like, yeah. Little things. My housekeeper <laughs> comes twice a week, but I eat a lot. Bro, dude, dude. <laughs> so <laughs> like, like they came over today. Mm -hmm. It took them for, they came over about 10 a.m. They left about 5 p.m. Dude, that's, that's a full-time fucking big house. Right Imagine there, you or your girl had three of them though. Come on, man. Yeah, but that's my point. It's like, it's like, dude, that's such a low income activity to do. It's like 300 dollars so what's how many how many hours that's essentially eight hours right mm -hmm. and, you, and you take 300 bucks divided by eight and then divided by three people it's like that's what they're getting paid moral of the story it's like i got way more shit i could do that's way yeah. above that in terms of, of a dollar value per hour yeah. most like cooking you know oh, delivery, man, chill out delivery food three times a day doordash it's like i, I don't even know offhand how much i said on doordash in a month i was sharing you had mint.com you would know i'm <laughs> no, just saying I, i'm saying you could just pull it up no, i know a range if you know using mint.com you just pull it up if i said it it kind of makes me look it, it made me look so ridiculous, pull it up? you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> i might pull it up what do you what do you guys think how much do you guys think i spend uh, it's like cooking you know like you're talking about that shit all the time like cooking is is so fucking dumb to me you know because it's like, why would I not? Like, I'm in the middle of doing some shit. Like, I'm in the flow, bro. Yeah. Just making cash, doing, I, even if it's just relaxing. That to yeah. me is a higher dollar value per hour action than fucking cooking or like spending some time doing, or like, dude, my yard, mm -hmm. the fucking landscapers who come over, it's insane how much time it takes for them, yeah. all the equipment they have. Like, I know some dudes I like i'll give you an example one of my family members i, I won't specify who because i don't want to uh -huh. i'm under the bus i never grocery i haven't been to a grocery store in like fucking seven years okay uh -huh. i just get groceries delivered whenever i need groceries like a fucking like a g you should you know yeah like a fucking long, long g story short my uh one of my family members when i brought this up i was trying to teach him how to be rich i was like don't fucking go to the grocery store anymore like get your fucking shit delivered and they were like, well, what if they pick out the wrong avocados? Then you know? get more. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> who gives a fuck about <laughs> that? Like, you could be doing anything better than having to go to the grocery store. Sometimes people tell me shit like, oh, it's like therapeutic, you know? Like, I, I love mowing my lawn or like, I love doing this shit. I'm like, well, that's great, man. Like, not everybody has to be rich as fuck and make as much as they yeah, man. can in life. And that's okay. That's all right. Yeah, and, and it is what it is. But like, truly. If you want to detach, like you, you might not even connect the dots on it yet. That was one of the big things I wish somebody told me when I was going from like broke to entry level rich mm -hmm. to like then like real rich was before it's comfortable, okay? You invest in the maids. Before mm -hmm. it's comfortable, like you get your groceries delivered. Before it's comfortable, before it like feels like it makes sense, 
you start getting fucking delivery food or you get like meal prep kits or whatever is affordable to you. Moral of the story is it's like that then frees up the time that you need yeah. to be able to do these things that you keep saying you don't have time for. Like learning, taking courses, taking action, building the fucking side income or whatever you're trying to do. And it's it's uh, it's such a simple thing, but yeah, don't ever fucking go to the grocery store again in your lives, guys. It's stupid, guys. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Knock it out. You know what I'm saying? Um... Stop cleaning your toilets, all right? Get some maids. You try to see how much you spent on delivery food? Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> I saw right. this lady on Twitter the other day. That she said she spends like 25K a year on delivery food. And I was like, you know, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if we look, you can show my shit now. So just this month, I've spent a quarter million dollars. <laughs> 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 yeah. To be fair, most of it. <laughs> to be you fair, you sure go get some DMs like, give me some money, man. <laughs> To be fair, most of it was on business shit, right? That's that's yeah, the biggest that's expense. Shit, that's that's the biggest business is the biggest shit. But shopping, you know, I did some shopping, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on just house shit, fucking education, eight grand, education, eight grand, motherfucking learning, yep. dummies. But um, <laughs> the majority of this five k. I mean, pretty, five, that's pretty conservative. Yeah, that's million. less. That's more, that's actually less than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's actually less than I thought. And this, yo, this auto transport. I don't have a car. That's just Uber. Here, let's do the basic math. That's basic. just Uber. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just Uber at almost three k, and we got still got like ten days left this month. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, spending spending a quart over a quarter mil a month is wild. So I wake up every morning, I get a smoothie from Smoothie King. Mm -hmm. That's like that's like thirty bucks. I get a smoothie for my girl and I. Okay, yeah, so just just on smoothies. Okay, mm -hmm. so thirty dollars times thirty. That's only nine hundred bucks in a month on smoothies. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then average lunch, we'll call it, I don't know, like, we'll just, we'll just say something conservative, like $60. Mm -hmm. And then for dinner, you might be spending $100. Yeah. So let's take that 160 for lunch and dinner each day, and then take that out over 30 days. It's about mm -hmm. 4800 bucks plus the 900 So 5700 just on delivery food. That's over a course of a year. What is that? A little over 60 grand? So yeah, $68,400. And then factor in like here in Miami, you know how it is. You go out to dinner, probably a minimum of like 500 bucks if you're going out with like two to four people. Minimum. And probably more than that, depending on where you go. Yeah. Uh, you go to an occasional heat game, sit on the floor, you know, get some food there and you get some random, some random expenses. Like we do. Associated with like we do. <laughs> heat game, floor seat. Yes, I mean, long story short. Jimmy Butler sweating on you, Paul. Point is like, yo. <laughs> Well, okay, think about all that time, that, that food shoot. Yeah, right? yeah. It sounds like a lot, and it is a lot of money, right? But <laughs> yeah, the opportunity cost, though, like the, the amount of, no, we I mean, wouldn't have made, we, we'd make way more by working don't. instead of fucking cooking, cleaning, and going to the grocery store. I mean, if I if I was poor germ, like living in Overtown here and some shit like this, like I'd be like, dude, that's fucking insane. Like, how do, how do you even like get to that point and justify that? But it's like, remember, it's just little steps at a time. Like, yeah. you start off with something. Like what we're talking about, like maids or, or yeah. fucking some delivery food for like maybe one meal a day so you can free up that extra. Time, or at least you know? get your food delivered instead of going yeah, to Yeah, yeah, totally. Store. Like do meal, do meal prep kits or something. Yeah, like yeah, that, meal you know, some, Something that's affordable to you that just takes that step in that direction. I, it's, dude, it's crazy. I have, I have sometimes like these students who come to me that are making way, like a lot. Like they're like 50 to like 200 something grand a month in, in some instances. I told them years ago, like, dude, get maids. And it takes them, it takes them a long time to turn around and do some of these things, even if they have the money to do it. But you got to connect the dots. You got to at least try it. Let, let, let's check this out. Because I remember when I first started doing this shit, right? <laughs> let's, let's look at this. So let's, let's just use simple math. My fucking, the hustle, online training, right? Let's just say my hourly rate, I was making $100 an hour, right? And you do that by dividing how much money you make by how many hours you work per week. Yeah. Um, and if you don't track how many hours you work a week, fine, you're fucking up. You're supposed to track everything. Have you not been listening to this shit? Life is just math, right? Hundred out, hundred dollars an hour, right? That's your hour. That's your, your hourly rate. Boom. That's you, the guy, right? You feel like you feel pretty good about yourself, right? But then think about all the shit that you gotta do, right? That doesn't make you money. Let's think about that. Uh, getting groceries, cooking, cleaning. Let's just start there. Those are things that take a lot, a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So the, the first thing I did was I hired a maid to come clean to once a week. Little Jamaican lady, man, <laughs> she came through. Yeah. What the guan, Mr. Kata? You know, she come through <laughs> and clean shit up. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing: it cost me like twenty five dollars an hour 
All right, so she cleaned for two hours. It cost me 50 bucks. This kid says, wasting money is not a flex. You can invest elsewhere. You're that's, fucking retarded. I hate so, you. Yeah, that's I like, hate you, man. No, no, Look what? Yourself. Watch, watch, watch. Let, let, let me help you reframe it, okay? So so when you when you practice, first of all, just getting richer, okay? It's like these little expenses we're talking about, that's all they are. If you noticed on his on his mid.com graph there, the, the smallest expenses were like the 5K a month on food. That's not wasting money at all because you're buying back the time. I'm about what to... we're then doing is we're maximizing the yeah. dollars that we make. We're focused on the on the total pie of how big the pie can get. Whereas when the pie is small, right? Like when you're making only whatever you're making right now, okay, a small amount of money clearly to think like that. Mm -hmm. The issue <laughs> is, is you're holding yourself back mentally. You can't really see what we're talking about as clear as what we're trying to articulate it to you. We're not sitting here trying to flex fucking spending five grand a month on food. It's fucking, it's, it's not something to flex. It's to put you on game to help you understand it's not wasted money. It's an investment in itself to buy back the time so you can then earn more money. It's all Dummy. about earning. It's not about saving. It's about earning more money. The amount of money that I can invest month over month is insane because I get to free up my time, not doing those little bullshit things to be able to think and make more money. So at the end of the day, you know, it's just, you got to wrap your head around it. You can't let, I, I call it pleb thoughts, okay? You can't have, like there was somebody else in there who said something about, oh, the guest has a big ego. It's like, there's nothing I've said here today that's egotistical. These are just things that are facts about how it is to get richer. These are get richer facts, you know? And at the end of the day, you gotta you be able to learn. Like, here's the most important thing that yeah. I learned when I was broke, okay? Listen I had a lot Carter. of thoughts. That was the how, thing. <laughs> I, no, listen, I had, a thought, I had a lot of thoughts about how I thought life was, mm. but they're like these bullshit handy down beliefs mm. from like your mom or your dad, or like, I grew up in Ohio, okay? And I grew up in a small city. Average person there was a factory worker. Like, you know, median income of the city I grew up in was about $41,000. The things that were handed down to me as like ways to think and about views on how the world works, none of those were accurate representations. None of those things work for me today. All those things and those ways of thinking would, would tremendously hold me back. One of the best and most important things you could do when you're broke, like trying to get richer, if you walk away with one lesson, okay, you drop the handy down beliefs and you adapt a new way of thinking. That's as funny as some of this stuff sounds for like how we're preventing to you and how, how you hear us laughing and stuff like that. It's very important to note, like these, these are very like critical lessons, believe it or not, on how to think to get richer. You have to drop, you have to drop essentially the projection of how you think the world works and you have to be able to see it through like a richer man's eyes. They have to be able to try to make sense of it to see yeah. what you can adapt for the level you're on now that can start to help elevate your life and get you to that next level, you know? You can always <laughs> make more money, but you can never get back more time. When yeah, time yeah. is gone, it's gone. Right? Right. What's more so important? True. What's more important, time or money? Listen, man, Jeremy was way more compassionate than I am. I be wanting to bring <laughs> your fucking necks when I hear this dumb shit. Cause he did like, the, you don't understand fucking math. I pay fifty dollars to get my house clean for two hours. I work for those two hours. Remember, the hourly rate is a hundred because I did the math. So if I work for those two hours, right, it's times two, right? Any fucking math whizzes in the comments? What's my net? <laughs> what's my fucking net income, dummies? <laughs> what's my net? What did I net by having someone else clean? Who knows? Remember, I worked two hundred dollars an hour. I paid the Jamaican twenty-five dollars an hour. She worked for two hours, fifty dollars. What's my net income? <laughs> what did I what did I make, dummies? <laughs> hmm? The net was fucking 150. Cause I bought back. <laughs> I spent fifty dollars to buy back those two hours I worked during those two hours. I made more money by paying someone else to clean, dummies. You know what I'm saying? One person, one person got it right. One person got it right. Shout out to Carlos Alvarez. Carlos Alvarez. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? And then you do the same shit with cooking, right? Like cooking is even more. Boom. You're gonna spend because you gotta clean. You gotta do the dishes after. You gotta cook. So let's say that's two hours. Boom. You know, man. If I just had the fucking food delivered for fifty dollars for that meal, right? I'll say one hour cooking and cleaning. This is easy, right? Again, the net. <laughs> if I work during that time and then just eat the food fast, get back to work, I net what? You know what I'm saying? A <laughs> hundred. And you just keep doing this shit. All, and then a as you can afford to, then you start doing it more. See, people get this in business. They understand this in business. If you have a business, dummy, that's why you fucking poor. If you have a business, first you got to do everything, right? You got to create the product or service. You got to market the product or service, right? You know what I'm saying? 
to do the marketing, whatever that entails. You got to do the sales, whatever that entails. You got to do the customer service, whatever that entails. And then let's just leave it there because you motherfuckers don't know shit about business because I got to explain you basic shit. The very first thing you do is hire someone to do something, right? House is skilled. When you, your first hire, maybe that's customer service. Boom. Now you have more time to do these other things to get the money, right? Then maybe you hire someone else to, do, to develop your products or work on it. Boom. And maybe you hire Jeremy. Nah, not Jeremy. You know what I'm saying? You can't afford him. You dumb right then you hire someone else <laughs> to do the the fucking marketing and then maybe you just doing the sales at one point hey some point then you hire sales people you're making less of the pie because you got shared but now the pie is bigger or you're spending more time doing whatever brings in the most money for your business like people get that in business that's why you have a job now because some smart motherfucker <laughs> went through this whole process that's how you got your fucking job because the nigga you work for did that shit right and then here yeah, but people don't think about doing it in their life you know and, and there's there one good thing to point out okay somebody in the chat they said here it is i invest in real estate my money in autopilot and got time to clean and cook and messing with my girl now it's very important to note yeah one of the most important things about what we're talking about right now is we are not talking about being on that level <laughs> okay. we're talking about we're talking about being tremendously above the level of ever having to pick up a fucking cleaning utensil a fucking cooking utensil get in your fucking life it's it's very important to note okay the things we're talking about here are to push you to tremendous levels of fucking richness and wealth one day okay not so you can free up your time to go fucking cook and clean. To okay? go do me the wrong shit. fucking podcast. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, this motherfucker made money so he can be. You got money out of the way to go fucking cook and clean. That makes no sense, bro. Man, I just want to make enough money. <laughs> so I, I just want to make enough money so I can be on Jemima. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you.